Hello everyone, welcome to Lime Guru channel. In this session, we are going to learn that how you can query JSON data in your Postgres database. So I have opened my Postgres database on my local. So I've opened the PG admin tool and you can see on the left hand side in the table right now, I don't have any table. So what we're going to do is we are going to create the table first, which will have the JSON B column and then we will be seeing that how you can query different flavors uh, of data fetch in json b data type so this is my first query let me uncomment it which says create table employee so what it will do is it will create a table employee with employee id and the data is going to be json b so for particular employee id all the data that i'll add it would be in json format so i've defined the type as json b so let me execute this query first so if I execute this query, so it says that query returned success uh, successfully. So let me comment this query now and let me refresh this. So if I refresh this, so you can see that one table has been created employee table, which I just created. It has two columns, employee ID and data and data is of type JSON B. So let me insert some values inside this table. So what uh, I'm going to insert inside this table is two employees whose IDs are one and two, and then there are data with the uh, j with the uh, json values as name and hobbies so name is basically string type which is json john and mark and hobbies are basically list type uh, so there is one list inside the json and there is one list uh, string inside the json so we will see that how uh, this data will look like so let me insert both the values so let me insert both the values so if i insert run this query insert into so you see uh, it says it returned successfully let me uncomment uncomment this insert statements also so let's run the select data uh, select let me run select star all first select star from employee so if i run select star from employee so you can see there are two employees employee one and two with the json b data as name and hobbies um, so employee one has hobbies movies football and hiking and employee two has the hiking uh, hobbies gaming movies and music and there is one common uh, hobby in employee one and employee two which is movies so movies exist in employee id one also and movies is the hobby for the employee id two also so this is the common hobby for both employees employee one and employee two so let's try to query this data now let's say i want to get the json b data only select data from employee which i was just showing um, so let me run this query now select data from employee so if i'll run this so i'll get the whole json without employee id so you get the whole json so let's see how you can query the individual let's say if i if you want to access the name only from this json b data so what you need to do is there is a special operator this hyphen and then this sign uh, uh, then you can access any attribute inside your json so what i'm saying is data is my column name inside data i want to access name so you see here name is the attribute of the uh, json it's the key of the json so i can access any json attribute using this query if i do select data um, name from employee table so if i run this query so you can see i have get only the names now from the json so postgres has successfully parsed the json and it has returned me only the value specific to name so in this way you can query json data let's see some more examples let's say you want to filter some data select star from employee where name is equal to john uh, or name equal to mark so you want to filter based on uh, where employee name is in is equal to mark but employee name is not uh, the column name the employee name is present inside uh, my json column which is data so the same way i can do where data name is equal to mark so if i do this if i run this query so you can see that i have i have got the employee record its employee id is 2 uh, where the employee name is mark so i got i am able to query the data filter the data also based on json attributes the attributes are nested inside the json so and and i'm still able to do the filtering uh, using this json operator now what i'll do is i'll just uh, uh, select the hobby similar similar way i uh, the way we have fetched the name similarly we will have fetched the hobbies also uh, which is data uh, and then hobby so hobbies is inside my data column so let me run this query so i'll get the hobby uh, sorry let me run this query so i'll get hobbies now so you can see that employee one has hobbies movies football and hiking and employee two has gaming movies and music so again you can do the 
um, you can do uh, this thing also that you want to get hobbies where the employee name is Mark so you can do the filtering also so if if you do the filtering sorry let me comment this uh, now let me run this uh, so if I run this statement, so what, what I'm doing is, so I'm saying that I want to get hobbies only. I want to get hobbies only from my employee table where the employee data column with name attribute is equal to mark. So I'm going to get the hobbies for mark only. So now I'm selecting the data also from the JSON attribute also from the JSON and my filter condition is also based on the JSON. So basically I'm doing, I want to select certain attributes of a JSON based on, based on some, some filter of the JSON. I'm applying filters also on the JSON and I'm selecting some attributes also from the JSON. So this is what this query is doing and I'm able to get the data uh, using this query. Uh, after that, I want to give some flavor of some more features of JSON B. Let's say you want to ex expand all the hobbies. Let's say you right now you are able, you are seeing it in the list that gaming movies and music are in the list in a one row, but let's say you want to expand it. So what you can do is you can do JSON B array elements text. So it will expand your array into different rows. So basically gaming will come in a different row, movie in a different row and music in a different row. And then you are saying that you want to use this function inside for, for this particular attribute data hobbies and you're giving it as alias as hobbies and then from the employee table. So let's try to run this query now. So let's see what's the output. So if I run this query, so I see that for both employee one and employee two, um, I am able to get the hobbies. So in this uh, movies, football, hiking, gaming, movies, music. So all the hobbies of employee one and employee two are printed, but these are not distinct. So employee one has movie as a hobby and employee two also has movies as a uh, hobby. Let's say I want to apply distinct also after, uh, after expanding it. So what I need to do is, so I need to use distinct function and inside that the same thing, which we did earlier that I want to expand my array of hobbies and, but I want to apply distinct function uh, from the employee table. So let's try to run this query. Now I should not get uh, the repeated hobbies now. So you can see now the hobbies has reduced from six to five movies is only coming once it's not coming coming twice. So in this way you can play around with your list data also inside uh, inside the JSON data. Now let's see uh, one more uh, query. Let's say what I want to do is I want to get the employee ID also. So what what uh, hobby belong to which employee ID. I have just added employee ID column along with the expanded hobbies. That's it. So if I run this query, so you can see that now you have seen the employee ID also. So employee one has three hobbies uh, and employee two has three hobbies, but all are expanded. Now all are in a different rows now it's 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 not in the same row uh, all the hobbies have been expanded in into different rows so this is how you can expand uh, the things now let's say uh, a special query uh, let me show you the original data first select star from employee so let me run this query again so what is the data inside my employee table so this is the data inside my uh, employee table what is saying is it has employee id and the data is name hobbies what i want to do is now uh, i want to search an employee whose particular hobby matches with let's say uh, gaming so i just want to search for a one hobby instead of all the hobbies fetch i want to filter based on a one hobby that i want to get all the employees whose hobby is gaming so what i'm doing is first level i'm going inside the json and then i want to filter the data based on the list so this is a list hobbies is a list and from the list also i want to search a particular item that i want to get all the employees whose hobby is gaming. So how you can do is, uh, so you can do it using this special operator, which is uh, this one. So which I've highlighted at the rate and then greater than. So what I'm saying is select employee ID and data column from employee where data hobbies uh, contains a gaming hobby. So this means contains, so this will check for the containment, whether in this list, this gaming 
exist or not uh, which is a json b type so let me try to run this query and let's see so gaming um, uh, hobby belongs to which employee it belongs to employee 2 so my output should be employee 2 let's say whether we get the output or not so if i run this query so you can see only one row is returned uh, which is gaming now there was one common hobby which is movies for employee 1 as well as employee 2 let's see if i search for a particular hobby which is movie so again you can see my query that what i'm saying is data hobbies contains movies so let me try to run this i should get both the employees because both the employees has this hobby of movies so i you can see i got uh, move both the rows because movies is a hobby of employee one as well as employee two so in this way you can query your uh, uh, json b data it's very easy to play around with uh, json data if you have stored it inside post chris sql in the last i'll just uh, drop this table uh, if i drop this table so yeah my table is dropped so that's what i wanted to cover for this video it's a basic of uh, json handling json query you can apply uh, if you have defined uh, your column data type as json b then you can query the data from the json based on any attribute uh, and it's not for uh, one level of attribute let's say if you have a nested json where um, let's say two level of nesting is there so you can also do two level of nesting like this data name and let's say name has two two or more attributes first name and last name so you can do first name like this so you can even go uh, uh, to deep down into you can also deep down into the json level depending on your hierarchy of json so it's not limited that you can only get first level of attributes you can get second level of attributes also third level of attributes also so wherever your uh, hierarchy goes in the json structure you can go till that depth so this is again a very useful feature within uh postgres using which you can use postgres database as a no sql database you can store json documents inside postgres and then query uh, uh apply some filters play around with list array so all those operations are allowed within postgres so i hope uh, you got the f uh, gist of uh, this feature in postgres um, that's all about this video i'll share these queries into the github url which will be shared in the video description and thank you for watching